Hey folks, Poverty Point Customs here. What we're going to do today is set up my new grader blade. I purchased this through Princess Auto. It was actually on sale for $349.99. It's a five foot. And I'll be using this behind my John Deere 1025R. So let's get this unboxed. Alright, now that everything's unboxed, what you want to do first is lay it out in the direction of the way that you're actually going to put it together. Meaning, we're going to have our mounting bracket here, this is where it's going to attach to the tractor, your plow blade. Now this is going to be your pivot point, this is actually going to mount to the back of your blade, so put this behind the plow blade. What you're going to do first is take your bolt. We're going to go through the center here and bolt it through to the center of your pivot plate. So it's going to go through here, through here, and then we're going to put the nut and the washer on the back of this. And it's going to look just like that. That's the back. I just have a piece of wood holding it up. And you're going to put four bolts going through here. a washer and the nuts on the back of this all right so we have all four bolts here in and then the center bolt just want to make a note that you want to put a washer through this before you put the bolt through as you can see like that yeah that's just showing the back also too you want to make sure that this is level across here so it's the equal space going all the way across Next step is you can take this bolt out here and you're going to take this big nut and washer off and this here is actually going to attach right through that hole. So it's going to look just like that and up underneath put your washer, your crush washer and we're going to tighten this up. And this is going to be your pivot area. Now when you're putting this together you have the option of leaving this bolt in or you can have this. This way it's easier to rotate if you want to swing the blade around which I will be doing so I'm going to leave this in. And it actually has a little cotter pin that goes on the bottom to lock this in. So what we're doing next is we're installing the bracket so you can actually hook up to your three point. So think of this bracket as this bracket coming down you're going to have your pin so you can actually hook it up to your uh, rear three point. So what you're going to do is take this bracket and you're going to take your three point mounting bolt that's going to go through there. So it's going to look just like that. All right, so that's how they're gonna look. They're both installed. So now you're gonna have your center bracket. It's just a flat piece just like that. So that's gonna be mounted right there with a nut and bolt and washers. And that's gonna come up and it's gonna mount through the bottom bolt hole. So you're gonna put a bolt through, a spacer, another spacer on the other side, and then a nut and bolt on that side. And that's how it's going to look. Again, bolt washer, spacer, your bracket, spacer, a washer, crush washer, and then your nut on the end. And again, this is going to hook to your three point. And again, what I was mentioning before, if you're going to be spinning this around a lot, I'm going to put this in here so I can pop this out rather than having it bolted down. And again, on the back, you can see your pin, so you can just pop this out and then rotate your blade 360 or 180. So that's nice if you're pushing in different directions. 
So all I'm going to do next is just go over all the uh, nuts and bolts, make sure everything's snug down, and then it's all together. I was just showing how you can swivel this around all the way around and then again it's just as easy as popping out your pin as you can see there's holes in there so that would be straight on pop your pin on and your cutter pin underneath of it so I have probably four or five loads of dirt coming and a few loads of gravel coming again this year. So I'll be using this as well as the front bucket to spread it. So as soon as I get the loads of dirt and gravel, I'll be doing a video showing how well this works. Now, any area that rotates or swivels, I usually put white lithium grease on. What I'm gonna do actually before I do that is there's a few areas where the paint was chipped when I bought it. So I'm going to touch those up first and then I'll be spraying all the joints where it swivels down with a white lithium grease. Overall for the price you certainly can't beat it. This takes probably 10 minutes to put together with one person. Again all I needed was a 15th, 16th a socket, an adjustable wrench, a screwdriver which makes it easier to put your screwdriver in here and have an adjustable wrench here while you're tightening this down. I wish it came with the pins for here as well as the bolt and pin that goes through here. I was able to use it from my three-point hitch. I just want to note overall the welds are not too bad. I've seen much worse. The only spot that I saw where there's kind of an issue is right here. They forgot to weld this part here. They welded too far over. Again, this was just a quick installation video on how to put this uh, blade together. Again, I got it through Princess Auto on sale for $349.99 plus tax. So again, the next video you're going to see is this actually being put to work. And again, you can also use this in the wintertime for pushing snow. So if you have any questions or comments, make sure you post them below. I really appreciate you watching. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button. It certainly helps out the channel.